Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. <clears throat> In today's video, I wanted to see exactly what some of the effects are when we dry filament. And I thought a good way to look at that would be to calibrate some filament, dry it, and then run that same calibration again and see what the differences are. In the last video on the Sunlu dryer, we were able to weigh our filament beforehand and we saw that moisture came out of even just PLA and we saw that it does affect the prints just a little bit, but I didn't think that that was uh, telling the whole story. So in today's video, we'll go ahead and calibrate this uh, PLA meta that I got from Sunlu and then we'll dry it according to their drying stuff and everything and we'll weigh it and take a look at the differences in weight and everything and then we'll go ahead and run that same uh calibration again so that we can see if there's any differences in the actual little lines is there a difference in the calibration or anything like that do we have a different result after drying it and i thought that might i'm not for sure but i thought that <laughs> All right, so here we are on Sun Lu's website for their PLA meta. And the specific one that I have is this blue one here. So that's what we'll be looking at and it's sold out. <laughs> um, they do have a pretty decent price on the ones that are still in stock, 18 for these colors. And then they do have um, these ones over here. Um, this green and purple right now that are only $12 and 50 cents. Uh, so you might have to check in and out for um, this type of filament or whatever, but we'll take a look at what it looks like. A couple of things that they say about it, high speed printing with low temp recommended settings. They say it can be dropped from a height to the ground. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's pretty funny. Shows the temperatures and speeds. This is a glossy surface. Um, I think somewhere in here it said, yeah, you can drill, paint, sand with this as well. Neatly wound filament. So we probably all, if you have uh, bought any bamboo filament, some of those get tangled up and not something that you uh, did to tangle them up. They come tangled up. So they're talking about these are neatly wound. So if you run into some of those issues, this might be something to consider. Um, upgraded fluidity, fast printing with low printing temp, and some really cool colors here. Um, so I, they sent this to me with the um, filament dryer. Um, they don't have any control over this video or anything, but this is the filament that we're going to use for this test today. So we'll check it out and see what it looks like. So now let's jump into Bamboo Studio and get the first... Um, calibration set up for today's test. All right, here we are in Bamboo Studio. And as you can see, I have the Sunlu uh, put in there. So I did load it and just select um, generic PLA. And you just come here and hit the save button and then you can name it whatever that you wanna name it there. That's the easy way to do that. That way we can put some of these settings in here. Um, so now let's go to calibration. And I thought for today's test, what might um, be good for us to look at is the little, you know, uh, squares that it prints out or whatever. And we'll take a look at the lines and all of that. So that is the flow rate calibration here. We'll go ahead and do the manual calibration. We'll do the complete calibration, 0.4 nozzle. Um, we do have the smooth plate. That's what I use for the prismatic plates. Don't know why it just selects the first uh, generic filament that I've saved in there. So make sure that you change that to the one that you just loaded. And then let's go ahead and hit calibrate. And I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so here we are after the first calibration. <clears throat> Nothing that we haven't seen before. It's a toss up between five and zero, but to me the zero is still a little bit smoother. Not by much, but it is. So we'll leave it at zero and go from there. So now let's jump into Bamboo Studio. All right, so here we are back in the flow rate calibration. We'll go ahead and hit next. 
and then fill in the value above the block with the smoothest top surface. So for that, it was zero. And then we'll go ahead and hit calibrate again. And I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so here we are on the second calibration. We'll see a little bit of that stringing that we've seen um, and known to be um, <clears throat> one of the telltale signs of you know, moisture inside of your filament. <clears throat> so it looks like, you know, on some of these, I've seen some of that uh, stringing or whatever. This kind of a toss up between zero, one and two or negative one and two. Um, <clears throat> and then you can start to see ridges and everything on there. We're not actually going to change anything because we want to dry it and see if it changes anything as well. Um, but <clears throat> I did notice that. So let's go ahead and jump back into Bamboo Studio. All right, so here we are back in Bamboo Studio. I'm just gonna leave this as zero and hit finish. And that's gonna save, it should be zero and zero, so nothing to the flow rate, so it should be the same. <clears throat> the other thing that I wanna test, this doesn't always work on the different plates or anything like that. The other thing that I wanted to test is the flow dynamics calibration, which this doesn't always work on all of the plates, but I thought we would give it a shot on here to see if there's any difference between dry and, or, you know, straight out of the box and then dried a filament as well. So we'll go ahead and hit manual calibration, 0.4 smooth PEI. We'll choose the Sunlu Meta again. We'll choose the line method and we'll go ahead and hit calibrate and we'll let it go ahead and do the line calibration as you can see here and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so here we are looking at the results from the flow dynamics and as you can see in between the 0.02 or the 0.03, I think either one of those would work for that. Not going to change any of the settings or anything like that. Um, but it's just interesting to see what this uh, came out like. So now let's go ahead and get the filament dried. All right, so I've been drying this overnight and it just got done. I went ahead and weighed it beforehand. I don't know if you could see that, but it weighed 1,091 grams. So let's go ahead and take it out. We'll turn on the scale. We'll go ahead and weigh it. And it's right at 1,089. So there was two grams of uh, moisture that we pulled out of it. Um, so let's go ahead and get it loaded back in the AMS and let's run our calibration tests again. All right, here we are back in Bamboo Studio and you'll see that I have the filament loaded back into the AMS. So let's go ahead and go back into calibration, go into flow rate, Manual calibration, complete 0.4, smooth plate, need to change this to the PLA meta, and let's go ahead and hit calibrate. And this will do the first set of calibration, and now it is, the filament is dry, so we'll see if the drying has any effect on calibration or not um, with this test here. Um, so once it gets done printing these out, I'll snap a picture, and then I will see you back. All right, so here we are with the uh, first calibration with it dried. One little error on the minus 20 right here, but I think the one thing that sticks out is these three are almost identical. You can see one little ridge right there, but they're pretty flat between looking at them and feeling them. They're pretty flat. Um, so I'd say the first thing that I noticed is it looks like there's a wider range for calibration there. And if we look at, you'll see that the negative five here had a lot of lines, but it was really close between the zero and the five. Whereas on this one, you see fewer lines here and it's still through the zero and one. Um, 
but it looks like there's a wider range of it there. So let's select zero again, just like we did the last time and run this test again and see what the fine tuning uh, calibration looks like. But the first thing that I notice is it looks like there's a little bit wider range for calibration here and right? it wasn't as dramatic. So let's go ahead and open up Bamboo Studio and get the uh, second set of it ready to go. All right, so here we are back in Bamboo Studio. So we'll go ahead and hit the next button and we'll go ahead and select zero again and uh, go ahead and hit calibrate. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and let it do the second set of calibration and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so here we are after the second test and same thing again. As we look into this, you can see it's smooth throughout a lot more numbers and it's not really until a little bit of negative five and a little bit of negative six when we really start to see the lines. Whereas in the one before, you know, we could really see the lines in four, five and six and it was really, you know, only a toss up between here and even in number three or minus three here, we could start to see some lines. On this one, we don't see any lines at all really until this minus six, maybe one right here in the minus five. So it looks like by drying the filament, it really um, widens the range at least for this test. So now let's do the line test again and see if that changes anything. All right, so here we are on the flow dynamics calibration. So let's go ahead and go to the manual. Point four, smooth plate. Remember to change this to the filament that you want to save it to. And then we'll go ahead and hit calibrate and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so here's the result from the flow dynamics and a little bit of an interesting result here. On the previous one, there was like three of these um, lines that were like this, where on this one, um, not all of them are like that, but it does seem like there are a few more of these that you could use. So it does look like it's a little bit more forgiving on um, calibration. So if we look at the old one, right, there were three of these that were like this and maybe one, maybe two of these could be acceptable. Where on this one, only one of these are there. And there's a few of these that you could, um, you know, expect to do that or you know expect to use so where i think this might make the most sense is if you're using any of the auto calibration um drying your filament will be much more forgiving on that auto calibration or if you've had trouble um calibrating your filament in the past then dry it because it seems to be a lot more forgiving um, in the results once you've dried the filament and there's not as many um errors um, so it does give you a little bit more range, um, you know, to work with there when you're calibrating. Um, so another good point for drying your filament before use and even before the, you uh, calibrate, uh, make sure that you dry your filament. It will make uh, calibration a lot easier. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video and you learned something. Um, I sure did. And I'll be sure, you know, it's just another reason to dry all of your filament. Have a great rest of your weekend. I'll see everybody next weekend in the live stream. Uh, have a good one. Thanks for watching.